And listen, Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist, they're not Christians because they follow this Catholic teaching of John Calvin. John Calvin was a reprobate Protestant. Fred Phelps is like the poster boy for Calvinism. And you know, and Calvinism is an anti-Christ doctrine. If anybody ever said, oh, I'm Calvinist. Oh, okay, you can say, you mean like Westboro Baptist Church? Yeah, that's right. You mean like the Catholic Church? Yeah. Some of the perverts, Augustine, that were in, that's what you're talking about? Because that's where it comes from. That's who they're lumped up with. I want you to understand this. If you go to their website, you say, well, what is their statement of faith? Whenever we find other churches in the area, hey, what is your statement of faith? What do you believe? Yeah. Are you trusting on the Lord for salvation or are you trying to work your way to heaven? Well, when you go to their website and look, here is the manifesto of Westboro Bastard Church. We are a Tulip Baptist Church. We believe and vigorously teach the five points of Calvin. Anyone preaching otherwise is a hell-bound false prophet. You understand what they're saying? They are holding the teachings of John Calvin above the Bible. Yeah, In right. his words, you want to become a Christian? You have to hear John Calvin and believe Calvinism. Then you can be God's special person. Yeah. Yeah. Then God will pick you. This is wicked and perverse. Wicked. God does hate some people today. This is true. I believe God hates Westboro Baptist Church yeah. Yeah. because they are bastards. They are not of God. Listen to something else that he, this guy said. The message of Galatians 1, 8-9 is this. That if any man preach any other gospel than the doctrines contained in the five points of Calvinism, let that man be damned forever. Are you kidding me? What does the Bible say in Revelation about changing the Word of God, about having the plagues upon you, about your name being taken out of the book of life? Hey, Fred Phelps, you're burning in hell now. Yeah, that's right. Why? Because he's perverted the simplicity of the Gospel of Christ. Right. He's perverting the love of Jesus Christ. Where did John Calvin get the perversion? From Augustine of Hippo. Right? This guy was a perverted Catholic. That's where Calvin got his doctrine from. So, John Calvin, Augustine, Fred Phelps, they are in hell right now yeah, for perverting the Gospel. That's right. Calvinism is a heresy that is anti-Christian. It is anti-faith, anti-biblical, and God says it is accursed. It is damnable heresy. Amen. He had this conversion experience at a Methodist revival at the age of 16. Then he went on a missions trip for a summer. He was in Utah for a couple months in a Southern Baptist church deemed him appropriate to become a pastor. They ordained him as a pastor without children. He was not proved. They didn't know the guy. He was only there for a very short period. And it's like, it's like one of these drive-through ordination services. Hey, what was your name again? Okay, got you. Go be a pastor. Listen, that's wrong. That's wicked. The Bible's clear about the, uh, the order of a pastor. And he was not found faithful. He's not a biblical pastor. And anybody that's too rebellious to adhere to God's standards to become a pastor is a dangerous person. Yeah. They are dangerous. It's rebellion in their heart. They're going against what, well, no, I see fit that I should stand up and I should lead. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Starting to sound like the devil there. Yeah. Westboro Bastard Church doesn't preach the gospel. They yell in the streets. They do not make a presentation. Hey, do you know Jesus died for your sins? You know, he, he died, went to hell, he resurrected. It's a free gift. They don't preach that because they don't believe it. Yeah. Right. Instead, they do the turn or burn. Stop being a homo and become a Calvinist is the message of their church. Yep. And that's unacceptable to God. Here's a quote I want you to remember about Fred Phelps. If God does not bestow repentance upon you, you will never have it. You will never savingly repent of your sins. This is saying God is going to force works on you. God will force you into salvation by causing you to become a perfect person by stopping your sin. Let me tell you something. Nobody can stop sinning. That's right. Right. Any man that says he has no sin, they make God a liar. Yeah. The truth is not in them. They've perverted the gospel. That's right. 